how memories are just as real as we want them to be. I used to play in the graveyard, the village cemetery down the street from my house. In summer, we would eat cherries right off the tree. When I was 10 years old, death didn't mean much to me. It was like moving to another country. I've done that a few times before, and there's some people that you never see again. But sometimes they write you letters. Both my granddads were dead, but I'd never met them before. A friend of mine lost his dad to cancer, and I went to the funeral, but I felt more uncomfortable than sad. When I was 10 years old, death didn't mean much to me. When I was 15, I rescued a little bird that had fallen out of its tree. I fed it and protected it and kept it in my room. The dog pushed open the door. She wanted to play. The little bird died of a heart attack while I was in the other room playing video games. At 15, I learned guilt. I was to blame for that little bird's death. I had rescued it and kept it, and then I forgot about the dog and it paid the price. When I was 15 years old, I'll never forget, I let a warm, friendly animal straight to its death. When I was 23, I was in a fatal bus crash. His face was so badly damaged that I didn't recognize him. His three-dimensional character turned into a two-dimensional body. And at 23, I learned horror, the brutality of life and death. The memories from that night are seared into my brain like a blacksmith's mark on the side of a blade. El Mer Perez de Quis, I'll never forget his name. At 25, my girlfriend died. 18 and a half thousand kilometers away. At 25, I learned grief. Yin Kong. She had inner strength like King Kong. She had a giant heart made out of pink candy floss. She lived life so fast that sometimes you only saw a blur and she wouldn't have had it any other way. Now she would tell me that she's gone off on a new adventure, exploring the universe in a different dimension. She believed in magic on Earth too. She believed in dragons and unicorns. Before she died, she traveled the world for a year with a wizard's cape, just because she could, not because she had the money, she didn't, but because she had the drive, she found a way. She taught me that love is not an emotion, it's an attitude, a way of seeing the world, a way of being in the world. She taught me that love is freedom, the freedom to be whoever we want to be without judgment. She taught me that love is an adventure and what matters is the journey and not the final destination. So at 25 I learned grief but I also learned love and passion and freedom and courage and adventure and acceptance. Acceptance. Death is real. Death is real. But that's not the most important part. The most important part is that now I have let go. And she still teaches me. 
So I can play in the graveyard again and eat cherries right off the tree in my mind because our memories are just as real as we want them to be.